Hello there, welcome back to Honey Badger 3D Print and Paint. Today I'm going to be showing you my most recent model, um, but before we get into that, hit the credits. <laughs> right now, um, this is a model that was um, released on a Facebook group, Special STLs. Um, if I can remember rightly, it's not cheap, I think it's like $120. This is printed at 100% scale, so straight off the bat, this is large. Um, I haven't scaled it up, this is as it comes. Um, the base on this, it's made up, I think it's 32 pieces. They range from 17 hour prints up to 40 hour prints. So I started this almost pretty much give or take a year ago. Um, I spent maybe a month printing some of the big base parts um, and then I actually moved house. I had to rebuild my workshop in, in the new house so that cut out quite a bit of time. Um, I printed some more, got the base finished, but then also the characters on this, they're large. Um, Clayface added up to maybe like a hundred hour print on his own. Um, Bane was like 50 hour print. So as well as doing the base, which was a couple of months just to print on its own, um, the characters took up a lot of time. I don't think I quite envisaged how long the paint job was going to be on this um, because I had gaps where I stopped doing stuff on this where I was just sick of it to be honest. I'd done some other stuff and, and then I'd go back to it for a little while and well the last week I thought to myself you know what I'm going to finish it so I had the base to do and I had um, I think it was like four characters left to finish. So I've managed to knock it all out in the last week. Um, I've weighed this um, as best I can. Um, the actual finished weight of this is 16 kilos. Now, going by the amount of supports I've took off all of this, I'd say this is probably, probably nearly close to 25 kilos of filament used to do this. Um, and a shed load of paint. Now, I'll give it a quick spin round. Um, this, as models goes, is one of the most detailed I've ever printed. Um, and when I see it, I thought, yeah, I'm going to give that a go, that's going to be great. Um, a few weeks into it, I immediately regretted my decision. Although it looks great finished now, yeah, this was a pain. This was a pain. I can see why some people have printed this and have scaled it down to like 60% stuff like that. Um, one thing I'm not happy with it is that, that there was a couple of faults with it. Um, Harley Quinn's arms, the hammer she holds, it's supposed to go behind her back and she's supposed to hold it with both hands. Um, the files just don't line up, it's just not possible. Um, so I ended up cutting the hammer down so she's holding it with one hand. Um, also the, her right hand doesn't actually fit, no, well, it fits onto the arm but you can't actually put her into the model because it's too low so I ended up cutting off her right hand as well just so it sinks into the model. That was one of the problems with it. Um, man back, he's too heavy, he's too heavy. He's held on by one key on one foot. Um, and when I first was putting it together, like when I was, I was printing it off, he was fine for a couple of days and then his leg just snapped. Um, so, uh, a little bit of rigging, I've sort of fixed him to the back of Joker so that he's, he's stabilised. So that wasn't ideal. Um, <coughs> the other thing I found 
Um, it's, just, it's not a problem with a model, it's more, it's more me. Um, the artist has put a lot of effort into designing this space. Um, I think which, what I have done a smoke is supposed to actually be part of clay face, but I feel like if I was to do that all the colour of clay face, um, there would be a hell of a lot of brown and sort of in this, and I think it would have been too much. So I decided to opt for smoke instead. But, so he's done a lot of work on the base, um, which is like a sewer system. Great. What I can't understand is why he never put Killer Croc in the sewers. That's basically where he lives. Um, I just think it missed a, missed a chance there. Uh, I think it would have been good if you had Killer Croc up the front somewhere coming out the sewer. Um, the rest of the files, they, they, they print fine. They print fine. Again, Harley was the only one where I think it needed some more time spent on that particular part of the model to get it all to fit properly onto the base. Um, I think it was just missed. Um, but yeah, overall, overall, I love it now. It looks great. Um, it's large. <laughs> where it's going to go in my workshop exactly, I don't really know um, because it's so large. Um, but, you know, it does look great. So, um, I'll do some close-ups of it um, so you can see it. Um, I'll also put a link in the description so you can see where the model's actually from. Um, just bear in mind, if you're doing this 100%, it's a lot of work. And not only is it a lot of work to print, once you actually get around to painting it, that is a hell of a lot of work. Each one of these characters, you know, the sort of full-size characters that you would usually print, well, there's, I think there's like 13 of them or something. So, Bear in mind, if you do print it at 100%, there's just as much work going into painting this as there is to actually print it. Um, but then saying that, it's, it, it, it is well worth it once you're finished. It's a great model. Um, we're having to film out here today because my workshop is just so jam-packed. Um, we've got a few printer builds going on and stuff like that. and I've just got stuff everywhere, so it's uh, it's not able to, put, to film in the workshop today. So I've had to move out here. But um, I'll do some close-ups for you now. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, let us know if there's another big model like this you'd like us to try. Um, James at the minute is doing uh, is doing a Wally full size. Um, then videos should start coming sort of like the next week, uh, step by step, so you should have all the pieces printed for that. Next up, I am going to do the new Gambody model, which is the Mad Max War Rig. Um, we're literally, we were just going through it, and uh, we're going to be scaling it up. It's, it's large enough as it is already to start, but, you know, why would you not scale it up? So, you know, once we've scaled that up, that's... that's that's probably going to be sort of five feet long. That's going to be big. It's got all active suspension and everything. So that's going to be a good build. They'll be starting that probably next weekend because we've got some stuff to do. We've got new printer coming. Um, so that'll be a video we're doing next week. We've got another cruiser coming, but we're going to actually um, we're going to actually convert this one to a bare frame, uh, which we've got sitting in there at the moment. So yeah, let us know what you think. Leave some comments. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, we'll see you on the next one thanks a lot, bye